שלווה מהשאלה של שלווה Here to prophesy once again, to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, America the Great, Babylon the Great, week in a week out. First and foremost, Rakat the Yehoah, Rakat the Yehoah Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. I give an honor to the apostles. Now there's a great Muslim to teach more Ruwa. Peace and salutation. Tadakim. Fellow laborers are hopeful and elect pushing this truth. I brisk it on my show the four corners of the earth. Tadak was listening to this and learning shit. Right? We're going to prophesy this wicked kingdom. Babylon the Great. America the Great. Preach repentance to Israel, Asherella. Israel being a people for a place. Israel only. Right? But uh, we'll get into some scriptures. You know? There's a lot going on in this wicked kingdom. America. Right? There's a lot going on. And more and more is manifesting daily. We're in the last days, man. Right? That's why, that's why it's important to stay prayed up. Praying to our power. Right? The prayers of the saints. But the most high is only hearing his saints. Right? Who are his saints? The elect. Right, beginning with the elect. Right, the house of Israel as a whole when they came out of Egypt. Right now, Yahweh Shem Yashai is only dealing with his elect. Those that made a covenant by sacrifice. Via the hand of Moses. Right? Psalms chapter 50. Verse 5, and it reads, Gather my saints, right? Oh, sorry. Except to gather his saints. All right, who are his saints? His chosen, his elect, right? Mosai is only dealing with the elect. Mosai is only dealing with the house of Israel, the elect on this side. All right, let's look into this word saints. All right, so. Heathen nation can throw prayers all, all they want. They can throw up their prayers to Serapis all they want. They can throw up their prayers to, 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 to uh, two thirds of our people can throw up prayers all they want. But in, unless you're of his elect, he's not going to hear you. Yeah, they're my saints. Let's look at this word saints. Strong's age, 2623. Chasid. 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 Faithful, kind, godly, holy. Godly, right? Esau can't be godly. So who's Esau praying to? His deities, his Babylonian, his Babylonian deities, right? His idols, right? Psalms 10 and 4 tells you. Let's get it. Psalms 10 verse 4. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts, right? So this wicked, this wicked, diabolical madman, this demon, right? There's no faith in him, right? He can't seek the Lord. All he can do is be a devil, be the wicked, be, be a devil, which means deceiver. Right? And work on the left hand side. Right? According to the to, 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 according to Shatan, who is a spiritual demon, whose physical counterpart is Esai Edom. Right? Psalms 50, verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me, 
those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Right, what is covenant? An agreement. So the Israelites, Israel being a people for a place, made an agreement with the Most High, Yahweh Shem Shai. The Most High, Yahweh Shem Shai, made a covenant with the Israelites, them only. Those are the saints. Right? So it's only the elect in this time, these evil times that, that, that we're upon. It's only the elect. The prayers of the elect that are going up. That the Lord's hearing. Yahweh Bashim Shai. Right? In the name by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? We can only approach the Father through His Son. Revelation 8. Verse 3, and it, said, and it reads, And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer with the prayers of all saints. The prayers of all saints. Right? Being offered up to Yahweh by Shem Yahashai, via the, via the angels. Right? We pray in the name of Yahweh Shai. The angels carry up our prayers to the ears of Yahweh, the Father. Upon the golden altar, which was before the throne, and the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, the prayers of the saints. Right? That's why we burn incense in the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai, you know? You know? And we pray, man. We offer up a, 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 a spiritual sacrifice to the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai. We pray, we throw our prayers, man, because we're in evil times. And it's only, it's only, it's only the elect going to be saved in these times. And it's only the prayer of the elect that the Lord's going to hear, man. Wicked, oh, it's, gonna, it's about to get wicked out here. Right? That's why we say, stay, pray it up. Pray it out ceasing. Right? Verse 4, once again, And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before the Most High, out of the angel's hand. Right? So the angels of the Lord bring the prayers of the saints before the Father. Right? And the times that we're in, let's get redeeming the times, because the times are evil. We need prayer. Right? One, we don't know. If we're of the elect, so we say the we say the hopeful elect, but we don't know. Ephesians five, verse fifteen. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Right? We gotta walk circumspectly. What does circumspectly mean, man? Head out swivel, watching all things, being aware of the times that we're in, man. You know. Truth is, there are people out here <laughs> not knowing what time we're in. Right? Not understanding that the times are evil that we're in. Not understanding that this wicked, diabolical, bad madman is about to wield a sword. Right? And we know that Esau is a sword of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Let's get that. The Mosai is about to use these wicked, diabolical, Edomites as a sword. Psalm 17, verse 13. Arise, O Lord, Yahweh. Disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Right? The wicked, which is thy sword. Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom. Malachi 1 and 4. Right? They're about to rule. These are the times we're in. Right? Famine is coming. Death is coming. Sword is coming. Martial law is coming. Military troops is coming. More lockdowns. More plagues. Right? Right? That's why we gotta stay prayed up, man. So we got to stay prayed up. Ephesians 
5. It's a lot. Ephesians, Ephesians 4. I said 5 early on. It's 4. Ephesians 4, verse 16. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Redeeming the time. The hopeful elect. Lord willing without number. We're redeeming the time. We know what time we're in, man. Right? The days are evil. Evil means bad times. And the times are about to get wicked out here, man. You know? We're in a time where we don't know, we don't, we don't even know what's what. You know, ABCs everywhere. We don't know what's what. What may what, what you may perceive to be a man is not a man. What you may perceive to be a woman is a man. Right? We gotta arm ourselves and be prayed up. Right? We wrestle not with let's get that. Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6, verse 10, and it reads, right, and as I, as, I say, as I say that, what I perceive to be a man, that's the spirit, what I perceive to be a man, just came off the bus, but they look like a woman. These are the times we're in, man. Ephesians 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh, that he may be able to stand, that we, ye, may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The wiles of the devil, the wiles of the deceiver. When you're looking at the word wiles, it's a uh, trickery. Right? Let's get it. In the, in the Greek. Right? Esau's, you know, Esau's using, using all kinds of enchantments out here. Heavy enchantments are out here. Right? This whole world is under enta enchantments. Gross darkness, we'll get that next. Lord willing. Wiles. The Greek word is, uh, Methodia. Methodia. Strong's G3180. Methodia. 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 Right, what does it mean? Cunning arts, deceit, craft, trickery. Right? Cunning arts, deceit. Hey, you see yourself on this chart? Yeah? yeah? Where, where, who? What did you say? Do you see yourself on this chart? No. Where, where's your father from? My father from? He's from Africa. Africa? Yeah. All right. You may be an Israelite, man. I may be what? You may be an Israelite. You know that, right? Yeah. Have you, have you heard of who the Israelites are? No. God's chosen people, man. In the Bible, according to Scripture. The name of, the, the name of God who the world eagerly calls God, his name is Yahweh. And his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, is Yahweh Shai. Those are the names you pray to, man. Right? Don't pray to, don't pray to what you've been taught. It's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Those are his names. Right? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, man. Ephesians 6, verse 11, once again, right? We are here to uh, 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 cry aloud, Spirit not. Right? Tell Jake the names. Ephesians 6, verse 11. Put on the whole armor. Verse 12, select. Verse 11. Put on the whole, put on the whole armor of Yahweh, that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The wiles, the, 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 the trickery, the cunning arts, the deceit, right? Of the devil. Right? Devil is the deceiver, the deceiver. Right? His physical counterpart is Esau Edom. Right? Right, and there's heavy enchantments out here. Scriptures say gross, dark, gross darkness covered the people. Right? And it's the elect alone with the eye salve to see.
Youngster said he's from Africa, man. Right? But uh, I could feel, I could feel that, uh, I could feel that he, uh, his energy, you know. He didn't want to, he didn't want to hear nothing. Right? Whether they hear or forbear. Whether you hear or forbear. Isaiah 60, verse 2. For behold, behold meaning look, the darkness shall cover the earth. What's this darkness, man? There's confusion, right? No knowledge, no knowledge of the names, no knowledge of the true power. Right? The whole earth is covered in darkness. And gross darkness, the people, gross darkness, thick darkness. People out there don't know what's going on. They're zombies, man. Right? Daddy government, Daddy Esau says do this, they do it. Right? Right now, right now in the news, they're still, t they're still, uh, they're still drumming up the Emic, you know? That skirmish overseas is still going on between Russia and, and, and uh, the Ukraine, right? And this bird flu thing, man, watching it closely. Every day it's a new alert, right? 17 million birds been destroyed in America. This past week, this past week, week and a half, they're saying uh, bird, bird flu has been discovered here, up here in Canada, man, right? That's a direct... It's a double whammy. It affects the food chain. And if it jumps to, to, to humans, which is known for doing, if it mutates, it can, it's, it's very, it's very uh, lethal. A 60% 60, 60 mortality rate when, when, when it touches humans. 60% mortality rate. You know what I mean? You, fly, you, you throw a little bit of that out here amongst the people. Another way to call to call to call to call to call the population and to bring in their their device, the Revelation 13 verse 16. Isaiah 60 verse 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord Yahweh shall arise upon thee, the elect. And his glory shall be seen upon thee, his elect. It's only the elect the Lord is going to be dealing with in that day, man. It's only the elect the Lord is dealing with right now. Lord willing, we have that number. Right? While wow, gross darkness out here. Nobody knows what's going on. Esau's taking, Esau, Esau's sharpening his sword, preparing it. Let's get that. Ephesians 6, verse 12. It is uh, Mark, Mark Ezekiel 11. Ezekiel 21. Back in Ephesians 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, man. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, right? Right? Esau praying on the left side, man. To his, to his deities, man. To his, to his demons. To Satan, right? Right, the, 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 spiritual war, the spiritual world is active. That's why we need prayer. Right? We, we can't do anything carnally to protect ourselves against spiritual wickedness in dark places. We can't. We need prayer. Right? Doesn't it say uh, in the Apocrypha? Let's get it. Sirach 35, verse 17. 
Verse 16. He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor. Who's serving the Lord? The elect. Right? And his prayer shall be... And his prayer shall reach unto the close. The elect. The Lord is only going to hear the elect, man. Here's the point. The prayer of the humble, who's the humble? The elect, pierceth the clouds until it come nigh. He will not be comforted. I will not depart. We're not going to stop praying. Till the Most High shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgments. Right? We're, we're, we're not going to stop praying, man. Right? Constantly, this wicked kingdom vexed with the filthy conversation of this world. Right? Sighing and crying. Doesn't it say in Luke 17? Luke 18? Luke 18, verse 7. Red letter. Our Lord said this. And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect? We know the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai is going to avenge his elect. The Lord willing, we're of that number, the elect. And how is he going to avenge his elect? By fire. Which cry day and night unto him, crying day and night, man, saying and crying. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. Baba Kasha, right? Speed it up. But this place is vexing, man. Right? Which cry day and night unto him, though he bear, though he bear long with them, right? So we know through scripture. Lord Yahweh Shem is going to avenge this place, man. Right? But we got to be patient. Patient meaning to suffer. Right? Right? We know a sword is being sharpened. We know wickedness. We know wickedness is 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 is, is increasing. Right? Those are just saying, uh, those are saying, uh, second answer is 15. Second answer is 15. Verse 5. We'll start at 1 to place of 5. Second is 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, you Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. Right? And who's speaking in the ears of the Yahweh Shemiah's people? The elect. Right? Or what are we speaking? Prophecy. Right? Lord willing, where of that number, the hopeful elect, speaking prophecy, right? Speak, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not their imaginations against thee, fear not their imagination, the disbelief. All you disbelievers out here, man, don't let we, the hopeful elect. We're not supposed to let it trouble us. We continue prophesying. We continue rebuking. We, can, we continue exhorting the body. And we keep it moving. We fear not. We, we don't care whether you believe it or not. The, the incredulity. The disbelief. Fear not the incredulity. It's a lot. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right? You, you know. The scoffers, right? Verse 4, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. They're going to die regardless, man. You, you, you don't repent, you're going to die. You don't return to the power that, can, that, that owns you, that can save you. Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, you're going to die. Verse 5, here's the point. Behold, Saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. We're in that time. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Right? Wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. 
We're in that time, man. Alphabet community. Proud. Love of many waxing cold. Plagues coming out the woodworks. Pestilence coming out the woodworks. Esau working on his diabolical madman uh, 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 bio weapons. Right? We need prayer. Matthew 24. Matthew 24, verse 12, red letter. And because iniquity, what's iniquity? Sin upon sin. What's sin? Transgression of the law. And because iniquity shall abound, right? Increase. Right? Abound means increase. Grow. The love of many shall wax cold. And we're in that time. Right? We see demon children making headlines, doing all kind of wickedness, man. I was reading an article. In the New York Post, some GMO babies, two girls, young, 14, 14, 15 years old, 13 years old, trying to steal a purse from a 76-year-old woman, and in the, pro in, the, in, the, in the process, threw her down and she broke her hip. But as demon children, man, GMOs, we know it's judgment from the most high, right? But it goes to show you what kind of, what, what kind of, GMO babies are out here, man. Right? We walk in the valley of the shadow of death. At any minute, we could catch judgment. Let's get that. Psalms 23, verse 4. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, that rod and thy staff, they come for me. Right? The angel of the Lord are around his, around his, man. Right? Job 34, verse 22. The valley of the shadow of death. This is a place of judgment. Job 34 verse 21, for his eyes are upon the ways of man, right, the most high sees all things, right, his eyes are upon the ways of man, and he seeth all his goings, there is no darkness, no sha nor shadow of death, right, we're in the valley of the shadow of death, where workers of iniquity may hide themselves, right, America the Great, Babylon the Great, is the shadow of death, right, judgments go, judgments go forth, Judgment go forth out of this place like clockwork. Zephaniah 3, verse 5. The just Lord, Yahweh, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Right? The Lord's judgment goes out continually, man. It faileth not. Right, but two thirds of our people out here, the, the unrighteous, they don't know no judgment. They don't understand judgment. Proverbs 28, verse 5. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Right, the elect seek the Lord. Evil men don't get it. Scriptures say of unction to know all things. Let's get that. Second, second John. Second John 2. First John 2, verse 20. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Right? That's the elect, man. The elect have the eyes out. The elect understand judgment. The elect is not phased when they see judgment going forth. You know? In the world, in the world, I would have been like, yo. You know, the flesh will still say that's, that's fucked up. Right? But in the world, I would have been like, yo, 76-year-old woman. Right? But we know it's judgment. The hopeful elect, Lord willing, we're of that number. Understand that it's judgment. 
truth here is that people don't understand this. Right? They out here being brute beasts, complaining about their condition, but they don't know why they're in the condition they're in. I got to speed up the time. Psalm 92, verse 5. O Lord, Yahweh, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doth a fool understand this, right? Brutish man, no knowledge, no wisdom, no, no, no understanding. Two thirds of people don't, under, don't get this, and they won't. Of the shadow of death. Let's get some more prayer scriptures. John 9, verse 31. Now we know that Yahweh heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of Yahweh, he doeth his will, him he heareth, right? So the Most High is only hearing his elect, right? The Most High, whose name is Yahweh, and the Son being Yahweh Shai, right? Right? Let's throw that out again. John 9, verse 31. Now we know that Yahweh heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of the Most High and doeth his will, him he heareth. Only the elect are doing the will of the Yah Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Right? Some heathens walk by. I to exalt the name Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? They look. About exalted. Second Chronicles 7. Verse 14, if my people, who? You Israelites. This is King Solomon talking. Which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. This is, this is Yahweh speaking to King David, Salak, King Solomon, Salak, yeah. And pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Right. If all of Israel was to pray at once, the Most High will come right now this minute and judge this place. But it's not going to happen. Right? Right? Two-thirds are going to continue being wicked and scoff and buck up. And the elect are going to continue doing the work, Lord willing, and during to the end. Lord willing, we, the Lord gives us that strength. To endure to the end. Right? Deuteronomy 4, verse 29. Right? We're in the land of our captivity. Right? To one of our prayers daily. Right? Deuteronomy 4, verse 29. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy power, here in our captivity, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart, heart being mine, and with all thy soul, you you you, 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 you abide in this works with all sincerity and truth, the most I gonna deal with you, man. Right? But we 
need we need we need the Lord's covering. Psalms 34 verse 7. The angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Right. The Lord, the angels of the, the angel of the Lord is around his elect. Right? And the times that are coming, the sword that's being sharpened, the, the, this sword that is being sharpened by Esau Edom. Unless you have that hedge. Right? Pen. Ezekiel 21. Verse 9. Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh. Say, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished, right? Who's sharpening the sword? These wicked banking families. These ruling class elites. Right? Esau, Edom. Job 9 and 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who are the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4. Right? They're sharpening their sword. What is their sword? What's in their sword? Their military. Their pharmacia, which is their meds. The technology, right? Everything's defiled around us, man. Right? If the, if the Lord don't speed up the days, nothing will be left. Verse ten: It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. Right? Esau is refining his craft right now and getting ready to roll. Right? Right? Ultimately going, in, ultimately going into the MOTB in Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. This is what Esau, this is what Esau is pushing, right? It's the Lord's will that they do it. The Lord is putting the spirit on them to do it. But this is what they're pushing, right? Because they know they have but a, but a short time. Revelation 12. Ezekiel 10, Salakia. Ezekiel 21, verse 10. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may clear. Should we then make mirth? Right. You two thirds out here in that spirit of mirth. Right? Now's not the time for party and bullshit, man. Now's the time to repent and return to true power. Right? Because that's the only thing that will save you. Ecclesiastes 7. Verse 4, the heart of the wise, heart being mine, of the wise, who's the wise? The elect. It's in the house of mourning, the house of mourning. We're, we're, we're somber, we're stoic, we, 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 we understand what time we're in, right? We're not in a time of uh, party and bullshit. But the heart, heart being mine, of fools is in the house of mirth, in the house of mirth, right? Two thirds of our people out here, man. Partying it up. Weather's about to get warm out here. It's about to change. Right? It's getting warm already. Right? Eve gonna be out here half naked. And Jake, Jake gonna be out here being a wild beast. Cause they know not the time. Verse 11, Ezekiel, 21 verse 11 and he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled the Messiah has given this sword to who? this sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it to the hand of the slayer who's the slayer? Esau Edom right? he's about to swing this sword right? with no mercy Right? So we out here prophesying, blowing the trumpet. Right? Telling Jake, repent. Right? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Isaiah 15, verse 1. Cry aloud, spear not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. Transgression. 
needs to break the law. So we out here telling Jake, you yeah, you're going off. You know? Right? That's contrary to the whole side. Right? Crying aloud, sparing not, telling Jake, telling Jake of the names. Right? And the house of Jacob, their sins. Right? Because the, the time is at hand. Right? Lord is about to return and judge his place, man. Haggai 2 verse 6, for thus saith Yahweh of hosts, armies, hosts being armies, yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, right? The whole side is about to rise up, right? And destroy this place and show its power, right? Before all that happens, a time like no other. Isaiah 24, verse 20. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. Right, the most I go visit this place. The earth, the missiles are going to cause the earth to reel to and fro like a drunkard. Like a drunk man that's staggering. Right? That's how many missiles are going to hit this place. The scriptures say 200, mil, 200 million missiles is going to hit Babylon the Great, America the Great. Revelation 9. Verse 15. And the four angels were loosed, those death angels. Which were, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. The third part of men is Esau. And the number of the army, the missiles, of the horsemen, the missiles, were 200,000, 200 million missiles. Warheads in the missiles, in the head of the missiles. Right? And I heard the number of them. Right? These missiles are going to come hit this place. Beginning with America the Great, Babylon the Great. Right? And the slain of the Lord shall be many. That's it on that. Call Allah Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakah Kadash Kwamiya Sharala Wa Abad Abal.